All right, welcome everyone to the ultimate plus battle for Sarah's event in Japan. This battle is against Caius Ballad. The metal conditions for this fight are to lower his attack, lower his magic, and dispel regen from him. He will cast that at various, he casts body and soul at various uh, points in the fight, and one of the things that does is grants regen to him. I'm uh, bringing essentially the same party I brought last time uh, to, to cast Muhammad. The only differences I did, I made where I changed um, Tidus is going to be using Magic Break instead of Tempo Flurry because Caius is not vulnerable to slow and uh, he does a lot of mixed damage so I, it's, I, I decided to use Armor Breakdown to speed the fight up instead of lowering his damage since I've got Agrius along anyway. Otherwise the party is identical. Except I egged Bosh up a little bit more because I was a little I didn't like how low his hit points were. He had less hit points than Lena. Alright, here we go. Caius has 307,793 hit points. Attempt number five. He always does three random target attacks. If he targets the same person twice, they're dead. And then he can't free raise because he's an asshole. is going to go in in my uh, list of ultimate plus battles I'm not a fan of. No, you cannot dispel re-raise. You can dispel the regen here but it doesn't dispel the attack and magic bonuses he gets from casting the regen. And the re-raise will only go away when um, he gets revived. Which means his 307,000 hit points is more like, you know, uh, 450,000. Depending on what exact percentage re-raise restores him at. By the way, take note of that damage. He did 2200 per hit with his first first Super Soul Break attack. Um, when I recast it in a bit, hopefully, it will do significantly more damage.
I really shouldn't be wasting Chirages. Especially with the heavy regen going. He's now buffed his attack and magic twice. I don't know if it stacks or whether he's just refreshing it, but he's also reapplied regen to himself that it heals for almost 10,000 per tick. Oh, I know what's happening. Okay, um... Agrius's Soul Break here is the same status ID as his attack and magic bonus. So whenever he casts that, it's getting rid of Agrius' Soul Break and increasing his attack and magic, and vice versa. That's why there's such a huge swing in damage. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Oh well, at least uh, Agrius will get rid of the attack and magic buff here. Yeah, see, this is doing a third of the damage it was before. Ah, uh, I wish he'd gotten that off a split second earlier. Um, Bosch's Platinum Shield is worn off. Let's go ahead and recast that. Okay, watch how much damage this first Super Soul Break does this time. He was doing 2,200 per hit last time. And now it's doing 5,200 per hit. That's because it does end water and it's water damage. It's plus 80% damage to each hit from that soul break. By the way, don't forget that I still have to deal with his re-raise. by no means almost over. I actually should have saved that because all the debuffs on him will go away once he re-raises, assuming it works like it does for players. Ugh. That sucks. I'm gonna waste a bunch of damage from... Petus. I was expecting, um, Agrius's Soul Break to kill him and trigger the re-raise.
Oh, is he just re-raising the escaping? Oh, okay. Never mind. A <laughs> little bit less bullshit than I thought the fight was. I fully expected that to deal another 150,000 damage to him there. So, fire orbs, dark orbs, wind orbs, and a power crystal for use in making crush. And that is the end of Sarah's event. Um, we do not actually know what the next event is going to be next. Uh, there's speculation that it's going to be a Final Fantasy XI event, because we know there's going to be... We know Shantoto is going to be released soon, but we don't know how. It might be a story done in character. Uh, either way, I will see you all in a few days. Till then.